Hello, I'm Mark Brace, Osprey Flight Solutions Senior Analyst uh, with this week's updates. Regarding COVID-19, uh, while lockdowns continue, uh, numerous countries have laid out plans to ease restrictions. However, arguments continue on when the right time will be to open up again, and we're unlikely to see any significant positive impact on commercial passenger flights for some months. Uh, there have also been indications of the increased level of biosecurity we're likely to see at international airports when flights do resume. In some parts of the world, the situation is likely to get worse before it improves. For example, South America, where infection rates are increasing sharply, and there are fears that the coming winter months will exacerbate the situation. Uh, some flight suspensions there are already in place until September. At Osprey, we're closely monitoring the secondary effects of COVID-19 on aviation operations. Um, we've seen varying, effect, varying effects on narcotics trafficking. Uh, the authorities in the US and Morocco, for example, have noted a decrease in trafficking by air, disrupting the supply chain and actually leading to an increase in the price of drugs on the street. Uh, in Canada, however, prices have not really been affected, suggesting drugs are still entering the country by other means. Uh, it's unclear to what extent this might include cargo flights, which are continuing. Uh, and in Belgium, uh, an increase in large-scale trafficking through airports and ports was noted in late March as smuggling networks anticipated. <coughs> Uh, uh, increased restrictions being brought in. Operators should be aware of the potential for trafficking networks to take advantage of any uh, available flights, uh, particularly as restrictions are eased. Uh, we've also seen more protests, social unrest and looting activity in reaction to lockdown measures in various places, including Panama, Chile, Hong Kong and Burkina Faso, uh, in some cases in the vicinity of airports, which could impact safety and security on the ground as well as access to aviation facilities. Uh, bomb threats against Russian domestic fl passenger flights are still ongoing on a daily basis, despite the decrease in services amid the pandemic. Uh, and they've included some threats to all flights using Moscow's Sheremetyevo airports. While they've resulted in emergency landings, almost none have di actually diverted and no actual bombs have been found. Elsewhere, we continue to monitor conflict zone activity impacting safe aviation operations. On the 27th of April, there were more suspected Israeli airstrikes from Lebanese airspace into Syria. Uh, these incidents have seen a spike in the last month. And we've also observed a spike in combat jet scrambles in various parts of the world, uh, for example. In the uh, past couple of days, at least three lots of patrol flights by Russian aircraft have, uh, in international airspace over the Baltic, Norwegian and North Seas have resulted in scrambles from six different air forces. Such activity can pose a risk to civilian air traffic due to the lack of use of transponders, ATC contact and, and flight pattern flying, filing. That's it until next week. Uh, please register for updates and Osprey Open and I hope you stay safe and healthy.